Oh, oh, cookie with tape. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, I was doing that for far too long. Hi everyone, my name is Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. You are my friend. I love you. I'm so excited to have you. And today we're going to be doing some TikTok hacks. Let's get the heck into it. Okay, today I am doing this video because I got inspiration when I saw Paige Kaiser do it first. I think there's a lot of creators that have done this video. It's fun, it's exciting, and I'm so excited to show you five different recipes that I'm gonna be trying from TikTok. And here's the deal, I am not good at cooking whatsoever. I promise I'm trying, I am trying to get better, but if I can do these hacks, that means you can do these hacks. So I picked five of the easiest, five of the best, and we're gonna see how great they are. Okay, now the first recipe that I'm gonna be trying is pancake cereal. This one is so funny to me because when I was little, my dad used to make pancakes all the time and he'd always serve us those little tiny like error pancakes. And I'm so excited I'm gonna eat a whole bowl of them. I'm just mixing up my batter right now. I also decided to do this one first because I knew it was gonna be the most stressful for me. It involves the stove, it involves a lot of patience. So I wanted to just get it out of the way. I saw Paige use a plastic bag in her video because she also did this recipe. And I think it's gonna make it a lot easier when I'm trying to pour this onto the griddle. Don't know how that's gonna go. If you can't see, this hole is astronomical and it is far too big. And this is the part where I mess up. Oh, 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 these are gonna be big cereal bites. Um, That was absolutely pitiful. This is the part that I'm gonna have to have so much patience with. Okay, this was my first piece. Clearly didn't know what I was doing. I can't flip them, oh my golly. Flip, flip, flip. It's not working. I'm gonna try using this. This is so bad. This is my first attempt. Um, oh, whoa, whoa. Yay. I just don't think I have the precision for this. I just don't think I have the artistry. But you know what? If you can do this, all the power to you. Wow. My masterpiece. Honestly, I was gonna fill the bowl up all the way, but that was so hard for me. I was testing my patience in ways I had never tested before. So I really just needed to finish. I'm just gonna try it. I'm sure it will taste the same if it's full or half full, whatever. People kept putting maple syrup in too, which obviously makes sense because it's pancakes, but not because it's cereal. So I'm just gonna do like a little dabble. Would you hire me Kellogg's? Probably not. Honestly, <laughs> pretty damn good. If you envision pancake cereal in your mind and you think about what it would taste like, this is exactly that. I am not a hater of the concept. I am not a fan of the cooking process. That was not fun. Do not give that a 10 out of 10. But this for taste, an eight out of 10, honestly. Cooking process though, like a three. I just wanna keep eating it. <laughs> okay, next up is kind of a fun one. We're gonna be making some healthy ice cream, peanut butter, banana, chocolate. Ooh wee. So into a blender, you want to have frozen bananas, cocoa powder, ice and vanilla out like a boss, and just a little bit of peanut butter. Blend that baby up until it's nice and smooth and throw it in the freezer until ready to serve. And you got yourself the easiest ice cream ever. Okay, this one's only four ingredients, which makes it all the more fun, all the more easy, and all the more me wanting to make it. Okay, this one was actually a little bit of a pain in the blender. Granted, I have a really bad blender, so maybe your blender is better than mine, but it took a lot of scraping and stirring and shaking to get that bad boy out of there. Okay, obviously right now it doesn't look that great and I put it in a ginormous bowl, but I gotta go stick it in the freezer because obviously it's ice cream and then we'll report back. Okay, I figured in the meantime, I could at least try one of the really easier hacks, which is pouring lime juice over green grapes. And apparently it makes it taste like Sour Patch Kids. Yay! You know, when I heard about this one, I was pretty skeptical. First of all, lime. Second of all, why? But you know what? If there's one thing TikTok has taught me, it's that you do not knock it until you try it. Okay, here is a perfectly beautiful bundle of green grapes that I'm hopefully not about to ruin. No time like the present. Cheers. No, that's, <laughs> obviously it's not a perfect dupe, but it's 
pretty darn close. It basically just tastes like a Sour Patch Kid without all of the sugar on it. That's so weird. I'm gonna give this like a seven and a half out of 10. I'm glad I tried it. It debunked my negativity. I'm impressed. Okay, let's check in on our ice cream. Oh baby, she's ready. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie about it. This was the one I was absolutely most excited for. We're not perfect on consistency right now, but I am too impatient to wait any longer. This just looks so dreamy. It kind of looks like a pile of poo. Not gonna lie about it, but I promise you, it's gonna taste better than that. Mm. It's so creamy, it's so yummy. I bet it will taste even better when it's a little bit more frozen. I should have just been more patient, but I can't do that. I can eat all of this literally right now. Keith is probably gonna get mad at me because I know he wants to try it, but it's so good. It's not cold enough yet, but give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> he just took the whole bowl. It's good, right? That's one so far, don't you think? 10 out of 10. Okay, next up we're moving on to mugs. I've seen so many mug recipes, but this one is a churro in a mug, and I love churros, so I was really excited about this. Mix all of your dry ingredients into a greased mug, then you wanna add three tablespoons of milk, almond milk works just fine, and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then grab some chocolate chips and bury them in the batter, and it's time to microwave this bad boy. 90 seconds on the clock, and you got yourself the easiest churro ever. I just garnished it with some cinnamon and brown sugar. So good and so easy. This one seems easy enough, but you never know. I could definitely go wrong. I also saw a lot of the comments on this TikTok and it doesn't say that it tastes exactly like a churro, but I am holding all of my highest hopes for this. Oh, an eighth of a teaspoon? How the heck do I get an eighth of a teaspoon? One sixteenth? What is this guy doing? I'm just gonna claim that's one sixteenth and I don't wanna hear a peep about it. I also just realized I was supposed to grease this mug. Uh, definitely didn't do that. I don't really think it's gonna be that big of a problem, but you never know with me cooking. He adds in chocolate chips, which I don't really understand why because I've never had a chocolate chip Oreo, but I'm not opposed. Um, I just said Oreo. I meant churro. Okay, popping it in here, 90 seconds. <laughs> oh, it totally exploded. No. That's hilarious. He said he just garnished it with some cinnamon. This is hilarious. <laughs> It's like all the way down here, like there's literally. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome to a very typical episode of Cooking with Tay. Pretty good. It kind of just tastes like really cinnamony, warm applesauce. So I guess you could call it a churro. I think I'm gonna give it maybe a five out of 10 because I appreciate the effort. I appreciated the recipe, but the execution, kind of fell through. Okay, this next one I'm very excited about because it is circulating around TikTok like crazy and it looks so delicious. I don't even know what you would call this. Maybe like an Oreo mug cake? All right. I got my mug and my Oreos, double stuffed of course, but I also saw these Oreos with latte flavoring. So I think I'm gonna try two different mugs. So you're just gonna stuff a whole bunch of Oreos inside and add the milk. I'm only gonna add a little bit because I think it will probably ruin it if I pour too much. And then you just start crushing it with a fork. Oh my God. I think this is kind of the consistency that we're looking for. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. Okay, now I'm gonna do the exact same thing in the other mug with my latte Oreos. That makes me so excited. I just wanna try these so badly. Now I'm gonna pop her in the microwave. Okay, I am so excited for this. Let's just try the normal one first. Are you kidding me? Right away, this just smells like a delicious mug cake. Oh my golly. That's so good. My sister is going to absolutely love this. Paige, if you're watching this, you need to try this immediately. Honestly, nine out of 10. It is a perfect mug cake. It is the exact consistency that you dream of. You know exactly what's inside of it. I'm sure it's like 80 Oreos stuff, a whole bunch of Oreos. Not the healthiest, but so damn good. Okay, but now I need to try this latte one. Still good, not as good as this one. This one takes the cake, the mug cake, the Oreo mug cake. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. Sounds like a seven or an eight. Yeah, this is pretty darn good. For putting milk on top of Oreos, throwing it in the microwave, I'm impressed. Reese, I love you. I love you. Hi. Hi. Do you want to sit and watch mommy fail to cook? Yes? 
Okay. Last but not least, we're gonna be making a quick and hopefully very easy healthy pizza. Add a drizzle of olive oil and when it shimmers, wipe out the pan so there's just a thin layer. Then you're gonna add a tortilla. After about a minute, you're gonna wanna flip it over and add your sauce. I'm using a marinara sauce, but really any type of pizza sauce works. Then I'm adding some grass-fed cheese and then a little bit of Italian seasoning, which makes it taste really, really good. Just pop that whole thing in the oven. You cook it for about five minutes until it's really bubbly on top. It's so easy. It's got the best crispy crust and you can use whatever toppings you want. I feel like I used to make these like tortilla pizzas when I was a little kid, but this is kind of like the gourmet version if you will. We Okay, I'm gonna throw on some oregano. I don't have Italian seasoning. We do have Italian seasoning. Never mind, we do have Italian seasoning. Shout out to Keith. Shout out to Keith. Hey, hey. hey, quick question. Can I put a pan like this in the oven? Of course. Yay! I mean, it's gonna be super, super hot. Okay. Yeah, I don't see why not, sweetie. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Thanks, bye. Okay. Going in the oven. Yes. Okay, let's check her out. Okay, um, not like hers. It's not really bubbling. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh my god. I mean, it looks pretty good, but just not the same. Honestly, it's pretty good. Of course, the tortilla makes it so beyond thin. Like if you think you've had thin crust pizza, this is really thin crust pizza? But everything in it is gonna be delicious anyways. It's marinara and cheese and tortilla. Like it's gonna be good. And hey, it's better than throwing it in the microwave. I'm gonna give that like an 8.2. Honestly, 8.2 is pretty generous considering it's not that innovative of a recipe, but it's good. I still really like it. All right, friends, now that I have made a complete mess of my kitchen, that is all of my TikTok hacks. Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun. I'm sure there are so many other TikTok hacks that I could try. Let me know if there are any that you want me to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you, cook with you in the next one.